Hey guys, it's Mark Rodriguez. Hey, hey guys, it's Paige. Mm -hmm. Yes, and you're watching the Review Sanctum, where everything and anything may be reviewed. And today we're going to be talking about, after a long overdue, people always asking us questions, or he's asking me about it, we're going to be talking about TMNT, Out of Shadows, we finally got it on video, well we rented it, I'm not going to buy that junk, and we're going to give you our thoughts on it. So, I guess to start the story, it's kind of like, I don't know how many, how many, months or whatever has passed between the last movie and this one, but Shredder's in jail, um, I guess mm. to I protect guess? the turtles, like, identities, Secrets. everyone thinks Vernon did it, I guess, and, um, because they can't reveal who actually did it. Yeah, I know, but, um, okay, so, the so, turtles gave all the credit to Vernon. Yeah, um, I guess Baxter and the foot were gonna, like, get Shredder out, and the turtles are trying to stop him, but, like, they get... Shredder gets warped to, I guess, another dimension. I guess Dimension next. I already said it. By and who? By Krang. No, but they were transforming. I mean, not transforming. <laughs> transferring. By who? By the foot? By the by, Baxter! Yeah, by Baxter. That's what I'm saying. Baxter and the foot. Oh, I didn't hear you say Baxter. But Krang got him instead. And then Krang said that there's like portal <laughs> machines. <laughs> and that Shredder <laughs> has to... Okay. And Shredder <laughs> has to... Build like, like combine them. Drone, yeah, to bring the tech... Okay. Build a machine to make a portal. <laughs> and bring the tech to <laughs> to Earth. But he also gives... A <laughs> Stop it. He also gives a mutagen... <laughs> So they could make like their own mutants. So Shredder mutates Seamus and you know turn the mutants. Okay, he makes <laughs> stop it. He makes Bebop and Rocksteady to fight against the Seamus. Yes, and along the way, Casey Seamus. Jones is there to us a cop. And so the turtles and have to, dude. you know, you know, stop beat up Rocksteady and Shredder and, you know, stop Detective Dome and all that stuff. That's what the movie's basically <laughs> about in a <laughs> nutshell. Okay, so you want to go first with your thoughts on the movie? <laughs> it wasn't bad. Okay. Um, it wasn't bad at all, to be honest. Um, I was very, not anxious to see it, but I was very curious to see how it was and what it was like. Um... It was more of a rent, and, like, if they had, like, the two DVD combo, like, if they had, like, the first movie, the second movie, made by, but, like, it wasn't bad at all. Like, the first movie was just, like, eh, they didn't show too much. Like, Mark said while we were watching the movie or after the movie, um, the first movie didn't really show much about the different turtles, their personalities. This movie actually delved deep into, um, how their, how much they really love the different... Uh, personalities of the turtles. Um, mm, I don't really. Oh well, yeah, much it was of an opinion. more about the turtles and not so much like the first movie. It was more like about April and Vernon, I guess. Uh, uh, Megan Fox was better about the blonde. <laughs> <laughs> um, she basically stole like the schoolgirl clothes from the store. She basically shoplifted. Yeah. Well, one was like. She did stop shoplift the skirt. I think she stole the sweater from some random person that was like it was on like a seat that someone was getting done, so she stole someone's <laughs> random jacket, sweater jacket. And how would she expect uh not to get caught? Like who the hell are you? Yeah, how did she become such a smooth like shoplifter? Like what the no, hell? No, not that. I mean like the group of girls that were squeeing over all the guys. Like how did they she just randomly go into the group like oh, this cowboy. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so, um, in my thoughts, I Casey guess, Jones is eh. He's yeah. a cop. He's an actual cop instead of just a random wannabe. Like vigilante. Yeah. yeah. So, um, anyways, my thoughts in the movie, like how Paige said, like, you know, it's more about the turtles, not so much April and Burnin, you know. Um, like, I don't know, it was kind of the, better The movie. basketball scene was cute. Yeah. It was like a better movie, but, you know, there's still little things that kind of bugged me. Um, I didn't notice, but yeah, not much like actual martial arts fighting in the movie. Like, not much fighting at all. They only fought Beat Up Rock Steady once, and they were like in the plane, so they were more distracted with, you know, like how the plane goes back and forth in junk, as opposed to like, like a good on fight. And, and in the end, they were defeated by, by Casey Jones, basically. I mean, the, the, the hell. Uh, what's her name? Karai. Karai was defeated by Vernon and April. And April Baxter was like, I don't know if it was either a laptop or some kind of similar thing. Mm -hmm. And like, they, they, they just show it like real quick. And then like the next, that's, you know, it cuts away to something else. And then when they show us again, it's like April Bird, like, hey, we got the thing ready. So 
I we, you can assume that took out Karai, which is like no. But, I, like, um, I like Donatello. <laughs> oh, it's like Donatello. Yeah, I didn't like Krang's voice in this version. <laughs> oh mm -hmm. yeah, Krang. Um, at first, when we first heard um, Krang's voice, uh, I'm like, he sounds so familiar. He sounds like Fatso from the original, the old Casper movie, the original Casper movie. I'm like, that has to be uh, Fatso. He literally sounds like Fatso. Eventually, after the movie. I go on to the internet and check it out, and lo and behold, uh, the voice of Krang was Fatso from Casper. Jeez. Oh, Maybe but, we'll um, have a picture of who yeah. Fatso is. Yeah. That's that weird live action one, right? Mm-hmm. Oh. But um, another thing also is I the just first didn't like live, first live action. Yeah, I didn't like how um, like people. That, that's the biggest complaint, you know. Like Shredder sees this giant weird alien brain thing, and then, and it's like you know you work for me, you're gonna get these pieces, and Shredder's just like yeah, sure, okay. Like there's no no real. Oh, well, he thought like he, they'll take over the world, <laughs> no, and, and the promise of defeating the turtles. Yeah, but the thing is, there was no real freak out moment. Like, the fuck are you, man? No, he just kind of went along with it. And also, um, the thing that really got me too is that Shredder actually trusted Krang. That's the stupid part. He actually really, like, genuinely trusted him. And then in the end, when there was a betrayal, he was, like, again, honestly surprised. And that's, no, that's not Shredder. Shredder doesn't trust anybody. Shredder, even the 80s cartoon Shredder. If you remember the old episodes, the first episodes, he was basically just using Crank for technology. Crank kept bugging him, build me a body, build me a body. And Shredder kept like, yeah, yeah, we'll we'll get to it. He kept using his technology. And throughout the series, he would try to betray him once or twice. But here, he just blindly followed. Like, in my opinion, when, whenever he got back to Earth, he basically told Baxter and them, okay, we're going to do this now. Yeah, it, it should have been more like, okay, we're going to do this now. But, you know, keep the foot ready. As soon as the brain thing comes, we'll kill him and we'll steal all his technology or something, you know. Or whenever Krang betrayed Shredder, Shredder should have also had his little betrayal in hand. You know, maybe Krang will frozen him anyway. But at least it was more like Shredder trying to betray him too. And not just like, what? This... Weird alien thing I talked to for two minutes actually betrayed me. Like I never saw that coming. It's like I don't know. That was that was horrible. That was just bad. And but yeah, those are my biggest complaints. That I didn't like Crank's voice. Uh, another weird thing. This is a very weird edit too. If you guys remember the old Super Bowl commercial when they first showed the scene? Crank looked more like himself. He had at least a head. Like he had the more or less human head face, whatever that oh, looks yeah. like. That looks like the cartoon. It, it looks yeah, like the, the, yeah, the the body was weird looking. Yeah, like more then, robotic. I kind of wanted him to have like the actual face. Yeah, and then when the That's final what I was version, expecting. Yeah. yeah, and then when the final version came out, like the real movie, it looks like a weird, just all out mechanical face, and I I really don't know like what happened there. What. Like, someone said, no, that looks stupid, let's change it. Like, I, I don't really understand the reason behind that, but that was a stupid edit. It, it looked okay, I mean, it was goofy and stupid, but the rest of the movie was goofy and stupid. But, um, yeah. Um, well, like I said, I do like the Turtles. We see more the, about the personality. It felt more like their movie, April. Like, she didn't appear as much. No, Bernie didn't appear as much. I'm surprised Whoopi Goldberg didn't come back. And, um... Uh, yeah. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, something else I was going to say. Well, you know, Splinter's in it, too. Like, in other words, it's more about them. More about them. And they completely, for, they completely like, ignored most of the crap from the first one. They ignored all the Eric Sox stuff and, uh, you know, the dude there. They didn't completely oh, yeah. mention them at all. So, um, the Upper Rock Steady were very well played. They actually did a very good job. And, you know, Seamus there did a good job, too. He didn't say fella or anything. But, I mean, uh -oh. they... They did a good job as the Upper Rock Steady. They're just basically dumb thugs that are happy that they're mutants. They actually love being mutants and everything. That's how they were in the cartoons and other comics and everything. So it really I'm did look piggy. like them. I'm a little piggy. Yeah, yeah. I like that whole double rhino and you're uh, I don't know what you are. Like, I'm a little piggy. Yeah, that is so, that is so funny. The, they did a good job. It's just I just wish they did more because, again... They only fought the turtles once with the plane and the waterfall. It's like you can't really get a good fight because they're just busy trying to keep your footing. So, yeah, it was a shame that the final fight was, you know, with stupid Casey, stupid cop Casey, vigilante Casey. And also the end of the movie, like, 
all of New York helped them and whatever, like, the well, at least the New York police. It just feels weird. Well, feels they weird. hid like, him, them from everybody else, and finally they gave the turtles the key to the city. I know, okay. but it's just so weird. That's what we're doing. Okay. okay. Thank you guys for watching that. Okay, do you have any final <laughs> thoughts on it? Do you have any final thoughts on the movie? And that's it. No, not really. You don't want a third sequel to this, right? It probably will be, but sure. Here, here, yeah. Go. Okay. Bottom line Not is, true. I hope that they. This is the end for this. I heard it. It, it did very bad, and the box office in the end. And Doesn't hopefully, you know, hopefully they won't make a third one. Hopefully after this, it's over, and maybe after a few years we'll get a reboot. The only reason why we didn't see it in theaters because we didn't have any time. Yeah, it was it was just bad timing, and it wasn't exactly the kind of movie that we're like we just got to see. Like if anything, we were trying to see X Men Apocalypse instead. We so that didn't even have yeah, it either. Yeah, we couldn't see it either, I know. But that one felt more, like, urgent to see. Like, Turtle was like, eh, no We still Fox didn't get with the urgency. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to rent that soon, too, guys. You can expect a review about that, too. But anyways, guys, um, that's basically your bottom line. Better than the first. Uh, probably still, I don't know, better than the first. That's, that's the main thing. Not as bad as the first. I still wouldn't personally buy it, you know. So anyways, guys, this is Mark Rodriguez Like I said, here. it has to be like a combo deal. Like both movies. I don't know. I'll make it cheap. Like they're cheap. Maybe when it comes like $10, $5 Maybe to $10. Or yeah. That'd be. But I'll forget by then. So, I'm Paige. Yeah. And I'll um, see you next time for the review sanctum where everything and anything may be reviewed. Hey, hey! Bye. Take care. <laughs>